I started dancing uh, at a younger age. I think it was because of Singapore Youth Festival that got me into the Malay dance and I was under the tutelage of uh, Osman Abdul Hamid. So again, back then, a lot of um, the movement, a lot of the repertoires that uh, the company has is, is more of silat blending. So you blend silat movement and also uh, Malay dance uh, vocabularies together. So again, similarly, seamlessly, it becomes a, a, a new form or a new voice, right? Yeah, 2017, we discussed about um, creating a contemporary works that has the element of silat. Um, silat is about defending yourself, petahan and diri. I've not practiced silat or any form of martial art. I was very briefly exposed to certain forms while I was schooling. But executing the form for me is like the, the, the I'm afraid that I would not do justice to the form. Globally, uh, silat is known as a sport. But if you go out of competition standard, there are a lot of people who still promote the art of silat, the martial, the so-called the kesenian, the kesenian part of silat. Dalam sistem ceplosing ini kita pergi ya dalam uh, seni Kelantan lah uh, khususnya. Jadi kita bergiat dalam permainan di Kebarat, uh, makyung, wayang kulit dan sebagainya dengan dan juga silat. Ya, um, bila uh, Kaizen Adlintas approach kita untuk buat benda ni. Jadi uh, kita fikirlah muzik-muzik apa yang kita dah ada. Jadi kita cuba gabungkan dan bila kita dapati that oh muzik Mak Yung ni kena dengan dengan lentak tari ni. Oh muzik silat ni kita boleh masukkan dalam sini. Habis tu um, muzik lagu berkabar pun kita boleh masukkan. Jadi dia ada elemen Mak Yung situ, elemen wayang kulit pun ada, uh, muzik uh, silat pun ada. In Singapore, um, when we talk about Tari Silat, it's actually a segment of it. So which means when we perform live, um, we have repertoires, we only take segments of it. So for example, if it's a acara pembukaan or opening dance, then you'll be able to see people dancing in with the kris and then um, they will start to bring in all of these uh, movement vocabularies that existed in a Silat. However, the footwork and also the swing of the hands changed because that is how we differentiate between um, a dance and also a silat movement. When, whereas for silat, if you see, it's more grounded and fixed in terms of their posture or the stances. I grew up with this silat called Cekam Tumbar and it was uh, inspired, so inspired. inspired. Inspired by this uh, person called Nick Enchat. So this guy actually is a, a Sultan's bodyguard. So he's kind of play, he's kind of silat is very aggressive. Whereas uh, my brother Rifa, ah, so he have the harsh side. He also have have the the soft soft side of him, lah, okay? <laughs> because that is Chimande. So with these two Chimande and uh, Cheng Kam Tumba, we combine it together to uh, assist and contribute to whatever Sham's uh, choreography is. Like for example, yes, we do understand some of this um, silat movement that was taught by uh, Rico and also uh, Rifa. Um, but then again, the understanding was totally different in dance, right? The execution and the meaning to it is totally different in dance. The, the first part of the performance is we take essence of silat and we try to incorporate with the whole dance. And this, the, almost to the end of the performance, then it is a real silat moves uh, like buah pukulan from Cimande, uh, Panca Sakti and also Cikam Tumba Bugis. I have really appreciated the process a lot because I see learning um, silat, especially the form that Riva and Rico has taught us in this process. Um, there is a certain niche to it that I find would really sit well with my artistic practice. Benda ni benda baru. Duduk kami, uh, Cik Mat, Khairul, Sazali semua. Jadi uh, mereka pun ingin uh, apa, uh, nak tengoklah juga macam bagaimana kita kaedahkan benda ni kepada seni tarian yang luar daripada 
konteks tradisional lah Untuk kolaborasi bersama elemen-elemen lain tidak menjadi masalah uh, Tetapi hendak datangkan satu syarat bahawanya kita mempelajari uh, asal dan akar sesuatu bentuk itu dahulu sebelum kita gabungkan dengan elemen lain uh, kerana mungkin pada masa yang akan datang mungkin dalam 10 tahun, 20 tahun yang akan datang uh, mereka akan uh, hilang uh, pengetahuan mana sebenarnya yang asalnya, ah, akarnya yes. sendiri ini kita uh, daripada uh, hendak kolaborasi itu uh, kita juga harus menjaga uh, kesenian itu sendiri In Singapore, um, when we talk about contemporary, we have various um, uh, culture, we have various uh, dance form, right? For example, for the Malays, yeah, we have all of these basic inang, zapin, joget, asli, uh, masri, and even silat. So again, from these um, various genres, or I would say from these different um, forms that we have, um, when we combine or when we explore and experiment certain vocabularies, and then we come up with a different narrative all together. It becomes a contemporary um, work. In Asia, like we have a lot of traditional um, dances here. So if traditional dance here, we would perform somewhere in like the Western like part of the world, people would sometimes say, oh, this is very contemporary. But to us, well, this is practice that we know. Sometimes it's traditional. I think then that's the beauty of, you know, Asia and Nusantara. So our own traditional practices uh, is seemed interesting, but at the same time, it's also perceived as um, new contemporary. Yeah. So it's also freedom of uh, interpretation for people to see. Yeah.